Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Drink Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it is lovely to have you here. You stay there, don't be naughty, thank you. Um, yeah, so it's a lovely hot sunny day again and I'm uh, racing the sunshine before it gets, well it's just popping, popping its head through my um, curtain on my left hand window. So yeah, before it gets too much hotter in here and um, yeah, cooks me. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get my video done and uh, go go and cool off. So it is uh, late afternoon. I have been out all morning uh, with Neil to see Mum. We've been to the antique centre. We've been out and had lunch. So yeah, time that I got down to some work really. I think it might be a little bit far away there. Let me just move a bit closer to me because I will drag this closer to me as I'm working on it. And uh, yeah, you won't be able to see it. So um, everything is should be stuck down and dry from the previous video. I'm not sure when, I think it would be yesterday. Um, I have just in this corner here added that beautiful uh, faux brass sewing machine charm. It's quite a heavy one on that um, bulb pin just in that top corner. I said I wanted something up there and that just spoke to me so everything's stuck down nicely on here. I didn't go around the edges but I don't think it needs it. It seems to be nice and fine. Um, I don't think I'm going to put lace down there this time either. I often do, but I think I think the um, the strings are fine. Um, so yeah, we just tied it in this double piece of sari. Might need a bit of trimming as it goes. It's it is fraying. I mean that's what's nice about it. That occasionally you need some of the some of the threads off. So I will as they get really long. I'll take one or two off. Oh, you've got two in there. Maybe the bigger one will hold the smaller one in, will it? Can't really see it though, can you? Let's, let's try it like that. Okay, so we're embellishing today. So I have brought along, what have I found? All right, I found three of these little buttons, which are, um, you know, little chipboard pieces. They're Stamperia. I don't know if I want them in or not, but I thought if ever they're going to go in a journal, this might be it. I have... Well, I've got a full piece of this, but I've got a little piece cut off here, so I might try and use that up in there. I've got these, oh, I've got a needle, <laughs> a threaded one at that. So stamped pieces of uh, coffee dyed. I don't know if I'm going to use those, probably not, but I'll keep them with the sewing stuff um, because I, I also did them onto some paper and I rather like them on this paper. So I'll probably use these as um, embellishments. I might use the, those, we'll see. And then just little bits that I've been uh, kicking around. So I love that trim. That's, um, don't know if I crocheted that on my sister. Anyway, it's a little crocheted um, flower, rose, something like that, chrysanthemum. Well, I've got this, which I want to cover, that I got the uh, trim, eyelash trim on. I thought if I could uh, cover the back of it with maybe some of this um, William Morris, then the front would be, this side would be nice. It's a nice colour, isn't it, for journaling. Journaling on, that's it. So just some little bits and pieces I think I saw I showed you right at the beginning. Just one of my little snippets. Um press stud, what are they called? Snaps, I think. Yeah, a couple of snaps that can go on pages or stay on what it's on. Um this is a piece of Irish linen tablecloth. I just thought it was lovely. Um yeah, just a little embroidered piece of vintage cotton. Um, I forget what this is from. This is from one of my vintage trim packets that I got um, from the the antique shop. That's it. Some more little embroidery bits. This as well. So this is what that ruler ribbon came on, the Tim Holtz ruler ribbon. And I quite like it. I thought, again, if I just cover one side um, journal, journalable, then I could stick something pretty on that side or something, you know, ephemera related, uh, sewing related, something like that. Maybe something like that, we'll see. Um, so yeah, these are the things that I've brought to decorate it with. Um, I haven't brought many papers. I've got this. So this is what I was talking about, the English paper pattern um, templating. This was one that I printed and it's not the size I want. I do, I do the next size up from that. That is just too tiny to sew. Um, but yeah, I thought it might not be going in nice, even with that written on the top as a... Um, journal spot if we need to create some journal spots oh I've got all my little 
well not all of them, I brought the charms that I thought I might like in and I, I have got the pewtery coloured, the silvery coloured bulb pins but I thought, you know, the um, the coloured ones lent a bit of something seeing as the book's sewing related and it's got colour in it so I've got the scissors which I really like and the buttons which I really like so they're my two favourites and this sewing machine on the front so it's a different colour that's why that's why I've put that one on the front these can go on the insides on perhaps on some of the tabs um, and then we've got should I wish to put them in the thread which is nice uh, what's that called a card of thread is it called a safety pin and what's that tape measure but but the scissors and the button are definitely going in because they're my my favorite i'll say so trims and frilly bits and yeah, a couple of pieces to to make what have we got on they're just all little bits that i put in there to keep tidy so oh yeah those little words that i printed out are one of those lovely little i'm not sure if it's tim holtz or if it's Tapeology or one of those stationary pal and I'm not sure if it's a sticker as well and I'm not sure if I've already used it in there because I had to <laughs> I have a feeling it might be a sticker bear with me oh yeah it is it's a sticker that might be nice on a page somewhere oh that just needs trimming around that's that um your creative studio that was it the the lovely card that she puts in with her um you know with the boxes saying thank you or whatever a bit more tape measure a bit of doily yep so just i quite liked that thistle um, embroidery iron on transfer that's it that's the word transfer okay so i've got that little pile of loveliness and then as you know i've got should i need them flowers and butterflies stamps um you yeah, know and things like that so let's let's make a start shall we um and see where it takes us I did quite fancy something on here and I am just thinking have I got any safety pins now I have only got let me have a think where they are I've only got this you know ordinary silver ones I've got any rusted ones anything like that they used to be in this bottom drawer but I I know I moved them and I changed everything around where do you suppose I moved them to? Ah, I moved them into the one above. I'm just wondering if we could pin something on there. Now, I know we could put the bulb pin on if we wanted to, but I'm just wondering about... Uh, they're quite nice smallish ones, aren't they? Do we want a small one or do we want a massive? That's quite heavy. Mm, quite liking the small one. In you go. Um, what what might we pin on it? I know I've got a piece of that further in. I quite like that on there. Look, it's it reflects that in, exactly, doesn't it? Oh, I do like that. I might not be pinning something on you. Maybe that and the well, now the the tape is on a green. What about that and that? I'm just going to glue that on there. I really like it. <laughs> Who'd have thought? I mean, I like it anyway on there, but with this opposite, it's just, just the perfect. Oh, for one moment there, I thought I hadn't stopped, uh, started. <laughs> the recording process. So I hope you're all well, guys. I don't know what you're up to. It's, it's midweek here, so not an awful lot happening. I have been telling Tanya and other people that Neil's back at work tomorrow, and he's not. <laughs> he's got another day off. I'll tell you, I'd be dangerous if I was if I was in the knowledge. Why are you not coming out? Ooh, you've only got a very tiny. But that's that's not a bad thing, <laughs> is it? What's the word I mean? A little tiny escape. <laughs> Where did that go? Now, I did wonder if I needed to stop and put these onto jump rings, but I think they're going to be all right now. We could go in the top of that as well, couldn't we? There, like that. The beauty of these is you can take them out and move them anywhere. Swap them around. Oh, no, look at that on there. That just landed on there and I really liked it. I know we've got that staple on, haven't we? 
Am I going to spoil it if I put it on? I was just looking at those cloth pieces. Maybe I could do another one. Yeah, let's not spoil that. Let's not have everything on the front, but it is nice on a piece of cloth, so... Perhaps on there, or something like that. Right, so let me... don't even know if I want the whole thing on. Let me just put that on there, and then it will remind me. I won't forget that that's a possibility. It might even go on a fabric flip or something that's already in. Okay, there we go. Don't lose the scissors, because I really want those in. Right, so do I want, as I normally have, a pattern, not a pattern, a label on here. Let's just have a look what's what's on offer. See if there's anything that's appealing to me. Because I do like on the first page, um, I don't really want to put it on the fabric. I mean, one could be stuck on the fabric, but I could leave that for whoever owns it to do. dislike that but well, there might be something better just a tiny bit smaller than that no well that's tying the pink in across the page as well I mean there are odd pink these are red strawberries and green leaves but there's an odd pink one here and there we've got this pink across the page here i think that might be the one let me just ink it right be careful with your ink denise because you've yes let me not do it over the book i've recently well to tell the truth i re-inked it and then i i left it open again <laughs> overnight after i'd re-inked it would you believe you would believe wouldn't you because you know me um yeah, so I've just wet it because <laughs> there's plenty of ink on it, but it, it was just a bit dry on the top, so I just put some water on it. But of course, it's, it's lively again now, so I'll have to be careful. So I'm still waiting for my nozzle. I had a look, I went on Amazon and I had a look when I ordered it. I ordered it on the 8th, and they did say 10 around 10 days, maybe 11. So yeah, it's not due yet. It's not blocked because I can hear air coming out. It's just nearly empty. That's it. Yeah, I can't wait to get my new nozzle and um, fill it up. <laughs> I know I was watching Tanya this morning. That might be upside down. I don't know, but who can tell? And um, she's, she's given up on her art glitter for now because I think she's already had three nozzles. I'm just about to start my third, so I'm presuming her third one's kaputted. I do watch some of her, some of her out of order. Um, yeah, so I'm not the only one having issues with it, I guess. So I don't know about there and I don't know about there, but I think I'm going to start at the back because we do so much in the front, don't we? Um, tag. Yes, you need something. I think I fancy something down here. There is a little that little poem there. And I wonder about this. If just some of this. And I wonder, it's going to be a pain, isn't it? But I did think about, if I just, not all the way through, but just the edge. <laughs> I should have, when I thought about it, cut some out, shouldn't I? And I think if I just go straight down there, let's get the big ones and then cut the little bits out, it'll be easier, I think. It should be because I'm doing all the big cuts in one. Okay. Do we like it? Yeah, I think we will. I think we'll like it. So I'm wondering if to leave this and do it off camera <laughs> because, yeah, we're talking a lot of cutting, aren't we? A lot of boring little cuts so I'll just cut a few out to show you roughly what it's going to look like and then if I have to stop the camera for any reason I'll finish this before I turn the camera on again show you what it looks like or if by the time I've done I've got loads of time haha -ha. <laughs> 
I mean, I, I'm sure you can imagine what it's going to look like, but I'm just really, I think I'm just letting myself know whether I like it or not, if it's going to be worth all the, yeah, and as I get further up the top, I'm, I, would, I don't think I want it quite so exact, you know, not an exact pattern, so I might actually come across up here a bit. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it all. I'm just going to, because I don't want to forget. Ooh. See, I'm not going, because I'm rushing, I'm not cutting very straight. No, it was as quick to do it like that, to be honest, wasn't it? I'm nearly round. <laughs> Shall I keep going? Shall I keep going and stick it down? No, I'm not. Look, I've got to take all those out of there. Oh, well, two. Oh, there's only three. Let's do it. I don't know why I'm in such a hurry. I don't know why I think I'm boring you because, to be honest, if I bore you, you'll just turn off. <laughs> and I won't even know, will I? So, yeah, sometimes I should just do it because if, if there's something like this happening and I really don't want to watch it on somebody's video, I just, uh, I'm just going again. I'll just fast forward it a little bit. I'm sure nobody's offended by it. We well, can't be offended when you don't know, do you? Can you? <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, I quite like that. Quite like that. Do you think it's obvious that it's patchwork and not, um, you know, honeycomb? <laughs> I think if this was my journal, you see, I might colour a few of those in. And then journal on the top. Fun. Or you could draw little tiny images in some of them, couldn't you? Little insects and things. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. I'm putting that down. I think it fits in with everything, the colour of the paper and okay. So these things don't take as long as you think once you get started. I know I could have done it a little bit neater, but whoops. It's not neatness not really the name of the game, is it? Oh I've got a cloth we have. There we go. Yep, so we're definitely in the midst of a heat wave now. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I know I haven't told you, but it's my wedding anniversary today, 37 years. And uh, Neil did remind me this morning as we were going out, the day we got married, it was absolutely scorching, scorching hot. Everybody was roasting. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, so it's very similar to similar weather to 37 years ago. So I might just tuck something in there, um, not that, when I, when I do the, the tags, I just want something on it. I know we've got pattern piece there, so it doesn't want pattern piece. What about this? Because it's a nice, um, what is it? It's a nice something, it's a nice journaling spot. I'm thinking it needs a bit of flourish. What do you think? Just a little bit. And then is that too much with all the other? Yeah, we maybe don't need that. We maybe just need a label. A little bit of this and a label. So I'd quite like a colour. So bear with me. As opposed to brown. Nothing too. So I've got lilac. I've got old paper. I don't want the dark blacks, blues, greens, do we? I think they're about my lightest. Tumbled glass is quite dark. I think I might go with the milled lavender. It is very, very light, I think, that one. Let's try it. We've got a bit of scrap to try it out on. That would be nice. It's a white scrap, preferably, because it'll look different on a different colour, won't it? Piece of coffee dyed white, but it's still quite, still quite.
quite white. Everything's getting me. Why are you all getting me? Stop it. <laughs> That's it. That's better. Okay, let's see what colour I get if I do it quite strong. It's hard to tell because you can see the coffee dye underneath, but it is a sort of a, a pinky. Yeah, similar to this. So not yeah, not quite as, as strong as I did there. Um, I like this piece here. And let's have this big swirl or flourish here. Go the other way there. That one there. Yeah, I didn't mean to do it that uh, quite that dark. It can still be uh, journaled over though, can't it? Hmm. That way. Yeah, I like that. It's got like, oh, I bet it's off here. I bet it's got um, the brown on here. So it's got the pinks and the, the browns mixed in with it, which has got a, a kind of a greeny colour. So, all good. Yeah, I think that's enough now with these. It's got a lot going on, hasn't it? Okay. Oh, we just tucked that in there. Oh, let's do some on here then, because if we just do an edge, maybe. And then we've got it edged all the way around. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what just an edge would be like. I don't like it. I can soon disguise it. Hmm, I do quite like it. It's left like a square of, let's put some up there as well. And it's left like a square of white in the centre. Not much on my brush now. Ah, yeah. Yeah, and then that's sitting in there. Lovely. I'm not doing anything on that or that. Or that. I wanted something in this pocket. Let me just move a few things back. Because I had quite a huge desk when I started. And I've already got a lot out. Yeah, so I'm liking this pink here against this. I think that's why we decided on it. I'm wondering if this edge wants some lace down it. I think it does. I think as soon as I wondered it, I... That's nice, isn't it? Some Brodie Anglais. Chop it there. As soon as I thought about it, I knew I wanted it kind of thing. Yeah, it finishes that page off as well for uh, for journaling, doesn't it? That piece would make a nice tab somewhere. Yeah, like that. Now, the only thing is this flap's going to have to stay out. Otherwise, it's going to stick very fine silk or chiffon or whatever it is oh talking of chiffon the sewing bee started again well we're into week three i think now uh, which is a television program in the uk i love the sewing bee yeah they were making dresses with somebody was using chiffon to sew that's what made me think <laughs> to stitch with it wasn't easy you go over there i thought you looked like you were stuck up a bit my eyes deceive me from such a distance, but yeah, let's cut it a bit shorter. We don't want it bagging up. That's it. Let's see if that's... Yep, it's laying flat now, so it was that lovely. It's actually not overly wetted, that. I think it's because the nozzle's so tiny. I'm not getting a lot out, and it's it's hot, so it's drying, drying pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Oh, there we go. Got it the second time. That might be nice in there, might it? So I just put it on a piece of this and fold it over since we've got that, that beautiful swirl on it. Hmm. I just want to know roughly what size. Yep. Let me 
there's my brown on the outside. Yeah, it's a bit, I, I'm not going to make it quite that, that grungy dark, but i just frame the outside here. I'm not going to do the centerpiece. So I'm thinking leave that piece because it's pretty. Put this on here. Yeah, and just pop it in. in the right, I've made it a bit tricky though. Will it fit? Oh, I've left it down as well. Yeah, it will. It will. It's not sticky, but... Okay, shall I add extra glue? Oops. Yes, I think I will a little bit. So let me know... Um, those of you in the other countries, do you have something like a sewing bee? So it's amateur amateur sewers. It's just a television programme on once once a year and they're they're given various tasks, you know, of things they have to make um in a certain amount of time. And I think that's that's the crux of it. They're all good they're all really good sewers, but they you know, they don't give you an awful lot of time for what you're making, so I'm sure some people who don't sew watch it and think, well, do you consider yourself a sewer? That's awful. But it's it's just the, the time constraint, I think, that they put them under. That and they often have to make things up, you know, from other things, which a lot of sewers don't do. It's, if it's not your thing. Oh, that's sweet. A little bit wonky, but sweet. <laughs> like that. And you won't see it's wonky when it's in its pocket. So there you go. If you don't like it, you can always trim it and just make it a single one if the wonkiness drives you mad. Yeah, I think that's nice with all that, that and that. Okay, I'm pleased. I don't think we're going to stick. I like that one um, sticking out. Yeah, I think now it's got this, it doesn't need anything. Square is fine. I was wondering about um, if I needed, you know, to pattern the edge. I might just round the corners. Because yeah, I've got punches that do that, a couple. It's not my favourite thing to do, but I, I did think it needed something like that. But that um, that lace has changed everything, hasn't it? Right, that's it. I like that. And actually, I like that lace from that side as well. That's real good. And yeah, I like that rounded. Kind of mirroring the, the flaps on the envelope. So everything there went happily. Maybe... Uh, Think that one there would be too much it would wouldn't it but maybe something what do you think about the buttons just hold this because it is quite fly away oh and look and we're on purple lilac whatever color you want to call that is there a front i think there is so where do i go do i go on the through this let's just go through the lace and see what i think oh can go through the holes in it because that's it. Sometimes these bulb pins are only cheap ones. I bought, you know, a massive pack when I first started off Amazon. And that's what I'm still using. Um, that's the front. Do I like it? I think I do. I think it's back to front, that's all. Oh, I might change that round later, but I'll leave it for now. Oh, that was good. Okay. So that is that two tags we want? Yeah, one in each of those. Um, and something in there, don't we? So that's three. We'll put something in there. Do we want anything down there? I don't know if we do, to be honest. Just thinking, well, they be nice, but then they're both in the back. But they would be. Man, I've got more to put in if I want to. It's just the, the colour of the bulb pin <laughs> kind of goes, goes with the, the fabric. We're about up top, the fabric and the tag, to be honest. Yeah, I know you can't see from my big fingers, but I'm nearly done. So I'm just leaving it on the edge, am I? Are you leaving it on the edge? No, don't like it on the edge. I'll go through, I'll go in and out, if you see what I mean. Like that. That's it. Yeah, I prefer it like that. No, I like it. 
I like it. Um, so this is pages. It's not having anything done on it. I'm leaving it for German. It's got this behind it. It's a nice a piece for writing on that behind it. Yeah, I'm not gonna put title or anything. Leave those threads. And we've got that that on the back. I might want something on that one, just because it's so fancy down the edge. Um, let's have a look then. So we could go with like stitch pieces. Mm. No. Oh, we've got the. No. What else did I have in those? Not the sewing machine, the cotton. Quite like that sewing machine one. Do I want it without that edge on or not? Yep, I'm just going to put that up there, I think. And I'm going to ink it ink around it a little bit so the the paper is it's got like little colored flecks in it so it is kind of distressy looking oh yeah it's got that in there so you either have to take that off and put it on the end because it's going to be difficult to write on or you could because these boards are really thick could put that under there yeah actually that would be all right and right that way hmm Put it under while I, while I glue that on because it'll help me. <laughs> it'll help me, yeah. It makes a big difference actually. Whoops, don't rip that to anything. Just wondering if any of those words that I. Uh, linen stitch. I haven't got so. Stitch and vintage. gonna go with vintage it's a word I like really like I like it on lots of things yeah so I am going to add to this this little word uh, document that I've created with sewing words and then when it's uh, when it's a full page I'll share it with you for free <laughs> um what did I do with my it's there with no lid on yeah i don't think that needs do i need to leave that margin or do i need it over it over it have you seized up no we're all right we're still working uh, yeah i'm going straight i know i had it on at an angle but i want this on at an angle so Slight angle there or there up there. Yeah, that's stuck down there. You know, so you can make your own embellishment pieces, ephemera pieces. Yeah, yeah, embellishment, not ephemera. With you know your own stamps, because that's what I've done. I just stamped that on a piece of paper. And I just printed that out on me on a, word, a basic word document <laughs> on me. Um, computer which if you haven't got you know probably friends or family have would soon uh, print you a few words out on a sheet perhaps you know if you want to make everything yourself stand up like that let's put something in so it doesn't stick oh some more, oh. Some more of that paper coffee dyed love those and I love that for journaling so I'm not going to do anything on there and I love that for colouring in. <laughs> I think I want something on here. Yeah, I love the tag. Not making it any thicker, but I do want. What about these buttons? What colour was the other one? Green. Okay. I don't want them all, I'm thinking two. Um I really want some thread through them don't I've got blue but I don't want blue where's my box oh it's there <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I shouldn't, shouldn't be stretching like that all right let's just because you know what I have to sniff it when I get it out oh it's beautiful it's getting less strong I have to say I'm obviously sniffing it all up it's um 
gingerbread. Is it just gingerbread? I can't remember. It's lovely. It was lovely. I mean, it is still lovely, but what about a bit of string in them? That might be nice. <laughs> Never seems to go down. Oh, looks nice pink there. And there. Put it in. <laughs> Back you go. Box of frogs. Oops, there's a bit there hanging out. Yeah, this might be nice actually. Let's uh, let's have a look. The thing is, it's it will be bulky though. Or will it? <laughs> oh, I'm having a conversation all with myself, all on my own. And why not? I know I've said that before, and I've had lots of comments from you all saying, "Yep, yeah, I talk to myself regularly." Get the best answers, don't you? <laughs> I think keep using these little scissors so I want a little bit of there. yeah quite like that quite like it I'm easy pleased mind <laughs> mostly I've had that conversation before so oh look I've got a little light hole there was she spotting it that little eyelet So, do I want another charm hanging off it? Of course I do. Of course I do. Did I do two knots on the other one or not? Oh, what's happened there? We don't want all that bulk behind. Some of you didn't go through. Okay. We'll pull you off and make you thinner then. There you go. How about that? If you didn't want to go in, you only had to say. <laughs> there we go. So that crazy cat of mine, still in this weather, insists on going into the conservatory. The conservatory. I've started to call it that now. The greenhouse. <laughs> I mean, most greenhouses are like, uh, conservatories are like greenhouses, aren't they, this time of year? Yeah, I'm going to glue those on there and mm, perhaps I have to put something inside. Good thinking. Oh, you see, my brain's working today. In case the glue seeps through that very thin material because I don't want it to glue my pocket shut. I'll put them over here a little bit so I know I'm definitely on that. Okay. So it pays to go through all your little pots regularly because I just keep finding things that I didn't didn't remember. I knew I had them, but you never remember at the right time, do you? So I didn't think about these at all. I was looking for something else and went in the pot and thought, oh, buttons. I'm surely using the, doing the perfect project for those at the minute. Oops. Now, if I'd stitched them on, could have hung things off them, couldn't I? But it's too late now. I glued down so they are, what's the word? Embellishment only. So we've got a little safety pin. It's quite nice. Let's see what it looks like on. I mean, it might be better through the the fabric rather than through that. You know, it's all right. And that's a it's kind of a safety pin, a ball pin sort of like a safety pin, isn't it? So they can both hang down. You could you know, tie a bit of lace or anything. Have we got anything? Got some blue organza. No. Some of this lovely green. My favourite green. Sorry. It's lovely this this sari. I'm so tempted to buy some more, but I'm trying not to because I bought loads and this is what I do. I find something I like and instead of just enjoying using it, I get this, oh no, I haven't got enough. I need to get more, more, more. <laughs> and I have got enough. That's why I bought two packs when I did. So yes, I'm trying to resist. <laughs> And I'm doing all right at the minute, but I think that's got more to do with the fact that I'm going on holiday and I'm trying not to spend. 
I'm going to leave it in there. Um, jewelry's out on it at the minute. Yeah, don't dislike it. I'll see. I'll know more when I come back and I'm flipping through. I don't think that has gone through, but I'll stick that behind it. I'll be fine. Got a lot of buttons on there. Look, we've got buttons on there and buttons on there. Okay, I'm leaving the lovely Will Morris. Um, do I want to label on it? I don't think I do. No. Oops, did you want to come and play? Um, yeah, I'm thinking about a tag on there. Not a tag. <laughs> I can never get it right, can I? A tab. So I could put a tab. Or I could put a piece of something, you know, like... Well, not this, obviously, but... I think I might like a tab because we haven't got many, have we? Oh, what was that? One of my trims. Oh, look at that. Oh. You're going to stop the other pages, aren't you? You need to be hanging really, really down. We might put it in later. Um, What am I doing? <laughs> I'm looking for something. I'm looking for a tab on there. Okay. Oh, you come. Pink ticking, what are all the buttons on the back? Pink, pink ticking, sort of. And it's only tiny, but I quite like it. Oh, green ticking at an angle, what about that? Bias cut. Yeah, that's the one. Now I could probably choose about seven and I'd like them all, so I'm going to stop. Stop at that one. Middle size and... Yeah, fabric related. Not sure if they're mine or they're from somebody, to be honest. And that's that lovely ideas page we've got going there with a lady with a beautiful hat. Yeah, it's very much a con you know, contrast, isn't it? Because it's sort of a modern-ish. Well, it's not, it's a vintage, but this is very antique looking. Oh, I never thought about where I was putting it on the back, did I? Never thought at all. I think it goes because I've got the green over here, otherwise I would have quite a clash with the blue. Yeah, but it, it needed something to lift it up. I love that, love that page, and that page is staying as it is, that beautiful picture this is staying here um i did that just for journaling on so i think i probably just want a heading at the top a heading what do i what do i mean i mean a label to, to allow you to write a heading something a bit bolder than that and you're all not blank, are you? You're interesting. What are you? Ah, come out. Bit of gold, look, can you see? No, it's got brad holes, which I wouldn't like to see without anything in. These might be the ones. So these are Tanya at Tatty Treasures. Yeah, I quite like that. Um, freebie tags. I think they're on a buy me a coffee. And uh, I've printed them on some faux something or another paper just go with that one i think like it i don't yeah i want a bit of an understated page and that that is so you can either leave it for the story the tailor of gloucester or you'd very easily be able to to write on this because we've covered it or you could glue something on I'm just, oh, shall we go over above? Yeah, let's go over and above. Onto the page, aren't I? Yeah. That's it. And that's got that lovely Love Heart um, tab on it. Yeah, I can leave that one. Oh, look. So we don't want the same thing anyway, do we? What should we put on this one? What have we got left? 
what have we got going going on no we've got some more of this no let me just keep digging in everything's gone right over there right so i want something fabricy but i want it in the right well, i want it fairly plain don't i um let me just have a look in my Doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's the same material. <laughs> Don't think I want a cluster, but you never know. The glitz. Now we've got we've got a cluster up there. Just spotted it on the tab, haven't we? So on the tag. The tab on the tag. <laughs> wow. Um so not buttons. What's this? What are you? Why you're jolly pretty, aren't you? Would you be as pretty without your pearls? Because they are very fat pearls. Let me take them out and hope I don't rip. Oh, gosh. Rip a big hole in it. Oh. Yeah, I could put some bling on top of it. You know, flat, flat bling. Because they are very fat round. Oh, I've stretched you now and you're all curly look. Come on, straighten yourself up. I'll never get you down like that. What have you done, Denise? We're just about flat. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Doesn't look too bad, actually. Lid off glue. Doesn't look too bad without its, uh, its bling, but we'll have a look. I feel it might need something. Oh, do you know what? I just remembered. Do you remember those lovely flat back pastel pearly type things from my Happy Mail? I couldn't stop using them when I first got them. Right, I know they're around here somewhere. I think they're in one of these drawers. Go on you, lay yourself down. I'm just going to have one little leaf now, one little leaf on each flower. Go on, well you'll have to lay down when the book's shut, you'll have no choice. Let me just, oh they're there, right in front, right in front of my eyes. Look, these, remember me getting these. They're going to be perfect, aren't they? Oh, she's got the bling drawer out. <laughs> so let's not open this, open these out anywhere because... No, it's some lovely little tinies. So we've got pink. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. So it's kind of, they're kind of half the size of what was in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love those. See, it's, oh, it's two on the floor now. No, not on the floor, on the table. I told you I was easy pleased. I need one of those little trays, don't I? The little tiny ones. I used to have them. I had a, I had a go at... Um, when it very first come out, what was that art where you stick all the crystal things on? I soon got bored of it. It was very repetitive and, and boring and what have you. <laughs> Sorry if you still do it. But yeah, and I had loads of little trays with that that you kind of sorted your beads in. And then they had like a tiny little funnel at the end. Come on, I don't want all that. You know, to just pour them back in the packet. I should have kept just one. For when I, oh, when I get beads out. No, I'm not going to be able to turn the page on this. How long have I been? Oh, ages. It's going to have to stay open at this page because I don't want to lose these. Um, I'm just wondering if it wants something in the top to counterbalance all this sugariness at the bottom. <laughs> something up here, maybe. Put those away. Um... Looks much, much similar to what's there, isn't it? Ooh. What are you? Yeah, you're too similar to that. Hmm. At the minute, that'll be a no. I think I'll have to wait until it dries to see. See if I want anything or not. So let's leave that and let's cover this with what little time we've got left. So I'll have to undo this. That's nice, thin string 
sort of hemp string, isn't it? <laughs> my fingers have... I've obviously got glue on my fingers because I've just stuck them together a lot. That's it. <laughs> Good job I didn't shut the book. Come on. I don't want to cut you off because I want to reuse you. There you go. So, I might cover the back of that as well. Because it's been written on, look. New... New stock, it says. Get that glue off, yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice if they were both covered in the same. I'm hoping this, it does. And I like that dark side, so we'll glue this side. See if I can get any more out of this. I'm sure I can. Just depends if I've got time to wait for it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so this is obviously a die cut, it's lovely. Any of you out there got this die cut? Do you know do you know what it's called? Or I could get one if you have. The die, not the not the uh, the cut, the die itself. So that I can do some on my machine. If you've got one or you know well, well more to the point where I can get one. That would be ace. I'm not it's not my thing searching for things. I start, I start looking and then I get bored. <laughs> I'm not a shopping searcher. Definitely not. Are you glued there. A little bit for this to go on. Yeah, you might as well go on there. Nice, nice square. So I'll, I'll glue the side that's got the writing on. Ha! <laughs> They ought to have made that cap a different colour, didn't they? You can never tell whether it's on or not. Does it matter? I don't think so, do you? Which part I put it on. Okay. So I think this is going to be the last thing we do today because we're going to... Yeah, we're going to end up at the hour, the hour mark. And I must try and remember to pop the photo of Simba on the end of this, so that will take a while to uh, attach. It's still like joining. Putting a photo on the end is still like joining films. Because um, I've been promising the photograph that I've got of him, I hope I've kept it. <laughs> I've him uh, sitting on my coffin dying. And since that day that I took the photo of him a few days ago, he's done it every day. He's a creature of habit. He's like, oh, new coffee, Diane, I'll have a sit on that. Oh, it's a little bit damp. <laughs> yeah. So I wonder I haven't got any cat prints on it, but I haven't, not yet. I'll share them with you if that happens. But If I wanted to use him... <laughs> He wouldn't like it, would he? If I wanted him to sit on it, it'd be like, that's cat abuse. <laughs> Cruelty to animals. So we, we left him in, he, he wasn't thrilled. But I'm so worried about him sitting in the in the greenhouse when it's so hot. I, um, I monitor him when I'm here, but with us being out all morning. I didn't want to leave him to his own devices and let him cook so I, I made him stay in he was all right he was still my friend when he came home but he'd rather have been out <laughs> right well i'll be able to do that with my big crocodile oh, where is the crocodile it is not in its hole that's worrying oh it's in the wrong drawer I'm in this morning under pretense of tidying up. <laughs> I obviously didn't do a very good job. Oh yeah, it's perfect size. Oh, not quite. Oh, maybe I didn't quite do it in the middle, I don't know. That'll do though. That'll do. Yes, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is wrap some a little bit of thread around it, not a lot. Thread or ribbon or lace, I don't know. Probably thread, because it will leave a, leave room then for the uh, 
journaling, won't it? We'll have this one stuck on the back. I think I, because this is so tiny, I'm going to have to let it properly glue before I attempt to cut it. Don't lose that, Denise. So we'll have that and that through there. Could always have a charm on it as well, couldn't I? Um, do I want anything on the front? That, that's quite nice. Oh, I forgot I was supposed to be doing that piece as well. I think I might just put that on. It would use it up, wouldn't it? It is quite um, stiff ribbon, this. Well, it's very stiff, stiff ribbon. I would think it would be amazing if I didn't have all the, the ones that I've got from the name at Collage Tight. You know, all the printed ones that are on papers. So when I first saw somebody with some of this, I was like, oh, oh, I'll have to go and find some some old measuring tape measures. Oh, shall we have some bling? Shall we? Nothing too ostentatious. Mm. Oh, I love that. So I like the colour that's on, but if I want it to go in a um a pocket, so no. Just thinking a tiny little piece of something gold. Oh. It's time I stopped because I can't, I ain't got room to move on my desk. <laughs> I think I might only want two, but I've cut three to see. Yeah, two. Oh, yeah, that's right. Two just blends in nicely. Three is a crowd, as they say. Thank you, Mr. Blink. Yeah, that's going to be nice tied on there. Um, yeah, perhaps with that bit showing, not the pretty. I'll do this one next time. Okay, so there'll be one more where we we should just be on tags then, I think. We're just about embellished, aren't we? Yeah, it's just filling tags. So one more should do us. One more and a flip through. Hey, Lovely. Okay, thank you so much for spending that time with me. I hope, I hope you've had fun or... You just enjoyed the company, I certainly have, and I will see you sometime here tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> bye for now.